Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I am inside Red Dead Redemption 2. And while it is in VR, uh, this is the Luke Ross 00 Real VR mod. I'm not currently sold on this being a real VR, pardon the name, experience. Um, it's playable kind of badly. I have a laptop with a 3080 laptop GPU that I'm currently running off of. I'm using Oculus Link because Air Link kept failing on me. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. They fell, but when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> a party? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> oh, I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! This guy says the voice of reason. Punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. So the guy that just stepped out is me. My name's Arthur. Been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. The last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You. We said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Martin. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you my fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah! So here we are, riding on a horse Southwest, right in on virtual the reality. He said, follow the main trail southwest. And there's definitely some 3D effect here. Uh, it is a alternate eye effect. Which doesn't work quite as well for me as some other options for VR. So it's, in my eyes, a little bit shaky. It almost looks like a 3D movie would to me. Uh, where there's some lines around the characters that that kind of simulate what a 3D effect would be. Um, also, the graphics aren't quite as good as I'd expect for this game. Uh, there's some jagged layers around the, the horse here. Uh, but it is playable. Now this mod is currently only available okay. through Patreon. It is absolutely considered an early access modification. Take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. 
So, so far in the game, I've really only learned how to hunt. Some deer. Those birds look cool. You two take up a hidden position just outside. I love seeing the shadows on the ground Mr. below them too. That's pretty awesome. Squala. You two hold position here. Let's go. Like as I walk over here toward this grass, it doesn't look very good. The shrubbery there does not look very good. The snow looks great. But some of the effects, you could just tell, weren't made for VR, if that makes sense. Alright. Another cutscene here. The other thing is, this game is a very cinematic game. So like this scene here, I can tilt my head around, I can look at everything around me, I can see the fire smoke there, and the fire, and, and the birds again. I'm a sucker for birds in VR. Now you can turn off the subtitles, but I actually have the volume pretty low for myself, so I like to have the subtitles. Again, this is a story game. And I do like that the subtitles are also also have the 3D effect. But I have to describe the graphics are almost like you're living in a painting as opposed to hyper realistic in some cases. Like the rocks for that mountain outcropping right there look great. Almost photorealistic. But when I look at Dutch, as an example, he looks like a painted on character, especially his coat. Around his coat, just these jagged edges. Kind of weird. Yes, yes, I will go get my stored weapon from my horse. Alright, so we want to do weapons. There we go. All right, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, the vans are the luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal and weight. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. But come on. So we're walking through the snow. You can see the tracks. Like if we walk over here. And then we walk back. You can see I left those tracks behind me. Which is pretty sweet. Um... This game does have both third person and first person available in VR. If you pick, play in third person, uh, just like following this character in front of me, my character sort of has some jagged edges around it. Uh, it's like some of the environments were built with really strong 3D. Like this, the mountainside here looks fantastic. But then some of the character models and some of the other things weren't as refined, weren't as photorealistic, and, and they weren't needing to be in a flat PC game. But when you're playing it in VR, it's just not quite as steady, not quite as good. Um, and again, that could just be my brain's interpretation of 3D. 
um, especially with this kind of odd 3D effect. I really do like looking at the mountainsides, though. <laughs> it's kind of a silly thing, but that's one of the things I really do enjoy. It's a good thing Dutch will wait for me and not try to go guns blazing in here. been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for the belt in front. It's weird though because some of these trees look fantastic and then other trees like I said they look almost like a matte painting. Which as an art style isn't necessarily a terrible thing. Just doesn't necessarily work for me in VR. Now, I have played one of Luke Ross's other real VR mods uh, for GTA 5, actually. And with GTA 5, it, it plays pretty well. I turn off the alternating stereo effect and play it. Uh, I have the option to do that. Actually, I think I'll do that now. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Whoops. I thought I was going to be using a rifle for this. Also. I didn't mean to shoot that guy, really. I meant... I meant to pause. See? Whoops. Cabins to the right. All right, let's try. Oh, I see the water tower there. Oh, that poor guy. That was kind of cool. We shot that guy in a cinematic death there. Alright, so we're, we're a little too close to Dutch here. <laughs> I'm gonna head this way. Is there another guy? I'm curious. Still some in the cabin, so a nice bird. We killed a bunch of dudes. Is this one? Oh, I see. This way. A 
which cabins? Over here? There he is. There he is. Should we pick up their gun? No? Okay. Loot another Driscoll here. Anything else to loot in here? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Of course we do. Wow, these guys are pretty good. As they should. All right. How are you waiting on me? All right. Okay. Let's wait for Javier and Lenny. They're coming down with the horses. Keep an eye out for any more of the bastards. Good work, boys. Now. Let's tear this place apart. Uh, Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. All right. Looking for detonators or exploders, anything we can. I mean, I found some Kentucky bourbon and a cigar. And uh, that looks like a duck motor. Of some form. All these vices here. Can good. Anything else? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's uh let's go over here, maybe this Yeah, search the chest. Whoa. 
close the chest. Let me search this dynamite chest. There we go. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? I hope I so. so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mister. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and out. They can come to us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life. Wait until we have John, Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know... He'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Well, let's see in my shadow as I ride. That's cool. But I feel like maybe not all games really need to be in VR. And I think this is one that I feel like the overall flat screen implementation is probably a much better presentation than playing in VR. Uh, I would love an official port of a type of game like this where I can be a cowboy as an outlaw. But in this particular mode chase down and lasso the driscoll Got ourselves in O'Driscoll. Put him back on our horse here. Gonna stow the O'Driscoll on our horse. We're gonna mount our horse. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Karen. Karen what? Duffy. Karen Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Karen Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna lie. Why? 
What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! So the chase down and lasso sequence was actually a lot of fun. Now it's a little dark now and a little cold in the snow. I don't know nothing up real about them, honest. I've only been running with them a couple of months. Please, I'll do anything. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. So I did try this on Airlink. Um, not as fluid of a picture as it is on regular corded link. Not sure why. So for Red Dead Redemption 2, I would recommend either using a real PC VR headset or Quest 2 with Link, as opposed to Air Link. I think we're back to camp, finally. We're going to take Kieran off of the horse. Don't hurt me, please. No, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Who shoot fellas as need shooting? Save fellas as need saving? And feed him as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp. I ain't an O'Driscoll, listen. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. A few days later, of course. And I think this is actually a good spot to end this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been a look at Red Dead Redemption 2, the real VR mod by Luke Ross. I'll be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. I will throw a link to the Patreon where you can purchase this mod if you wish to do so. Can't say I recommend it yet. It's a little rough around the edges, and I don't really know that this game really merits a VR mod, if that makes sense. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.